Go, go check out uh, that Jimmy Corderas uh, DVD, Refereeing 101. A great time with uh, with that uh, over at SorgatronMedia.com. Also, Joe Slash hyphen Dombrowski.com. He's got links over there as well. DVD, uh, digital download. Uh, so now it's time for that segment we all love. One we didn't spin off to a different podcast. Remember when? Remember when? I'm going to write and record a song that we can just play in during this part. I hope you remember. What the hell is happening? It's not going to sound like that. Holy fuck. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wheels is going to do backup. That's just screaming. For you. Wow. So there was a great moment last night. We all shared a moment last night, guys. We all shared a moment. Jake the Snake Roberts came back uh, on uh, Old School Raw, which I think was one of the best Old School Raws they've done for a bit. Somebody is doing something weird with their microphone, by the way. Uh, so Got let's it. look back. What is your favorite Jake the Snake Roberts moment? Most memorable Jake the Snake Roberts moment. Um, what the hell? Uh, Mike, are Someone's you... fighting demons. Mike? Mike, quit staring at the ceiling. Mike? Oh, I think he was stuck. Maybe he was stuck. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Hangouts being weird tonight. Um, this is show number one, guys. It, it is practically one. show number one. We don't remember how to do this shit. Um, but of course, Jake the Snake Roberts. What is your favorite Jake the Snake Roberts moment? Now, me, I always go debt back to. I don't know if it's a favorite, but it was definitely the time that Jake creeped me out the most. And I hope I'm not taking anybody's here. But the time that he locked the Ultimate Warrior in a snake room. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> they put a lot into that. Wasn't he like trying to like the Ultimate Warrior was? He was trying to make the Ultimate Warrior dark enough to fight the Undertaker. Was that the deal? Yes. Like yes, it was. It was the. Wow, I don't even remember that. It was. Um, I can't even remember like what the context was. I don't know if it even ended up at a pay per view or anything like that. But it did roll into like Jake and Undertaker kind of teaming up. Um, in the kind of the most awkward turns I think I had ever seen. Um, yeah. I agree. Now, now, okay, now, 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 Wheel, since I stole yours, like, like, <laughs> what do you remember about that? I remember. I stole like, yours. It was crazy. So like come you up said, with a new creepy. one immediately. <laughs> Sorry, Wheel. <laughs> it, it's okay. It was creepy because it was like you had him burying the ultimate warrior in graves and stuff like that and leading into just different things until you culminated into this, like, I swear it looked like a sauna room. It was uh, <laughs> with dirt, <laughs> with dirt on the floor. With, yeah, with dirt on the floor, and he walks in and just tells him, "Embrace it, embrace it," and just locks the door. And you see snakes everywhere, and all of a sudden, you just see the pallbearer and taker standing behind Jake, I laughing. I remember him like yelling at him, and 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 then nothing made sense in my life after that. Um, that scene of, uh, here's a picture for you guys on video of, of him looking through the window with the ultimate warrior. Um, this is, this is, this is definitely the most, like, this is the closest WW. I'm sorry. I didn't get the thing over there. There you go. Uh, this is the closest WWE ever got to like, uh, the really bad WCW, like, you know, Mick Foley kidnapped, Hulk Hogan and 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 Kevin the Sullivan, yeah, the Dungeon yeah. of Doom stuff. This is the closest they got to that, and I gotta say they did okay by it, right? That looks pretty awesome. I've never seen that clip. You've before. never seen that clip before? No, I've never seen that clip before. I gotta look it up after the show. Anyway, I I actually got oh. it right here. Um, so I will. It says part two, so I don't know. I I don't know if this is entirely the right one. Uh, about three minutes. Okay, all right. Um. No, it, it is a it's a classic moment, and I can't remember it really leading to anything uh, substantial or anything like that. Uh, but that was pretty much the height of it. This was like this was before. I think the next thing after this was probably when he was uh, fighting. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to take anybody else's. Yeah, Mike, Mike to what's yours? Mike, Mike what's <laughs> yours? All right, if you're a fan of the Wrestling Mayhem show, you know my Jake the Snake Roberts moment is. Yes. Because it it was the first thing I ever saw in pro wrestling. <laughs> Jake Roberts attacked the Macho Man, tied him up in the ropes, and had a cobra bite the shit out of his arm. 
Jake Roberts is responsible for me being here right fucking now. Indirectly. He's your father? Yes. He is my goddamn father, probably. I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> my mom my mom went slumming in Stone Mountain, Georgia, I guess. Wow. But Wow. <laughs> but Jake Roberts is responsible for me being a wrestling fan. Jake Roberts is is responsible for me being a wrestling fan just because he had a fucking snake snake bite the arm of the Macho Man. It was amazing. Awesome. LB, what is yours? Well, here's the thing about Jake Roberts. Uh, Everybody seems to have the same memories. (laughs) (laughs) I remember him uh, attacking the Macho Man. I remember him dealing with the Ultimate Warrior. I remember him, of course, uh, losing to Stone Cold Steve Austin and making Stone Cold Steve Austin who he was. But uh, in a more overarching sense, when I was young and watching wrestling, uh, you know, for for the the first time, Jake Jake was the first. Um, I guess you could consider him a bad guy that I really liked. The, the way that he delivered his promos was so different from everybody else. He was slow and methodical and creepy, like you said, very creepy. Um, and he uh, he was brutal. He was like very brutal and very violent with his opponents in a way that I just I love. So um, that's what I remember about Jake the Snake Roberts was he was the first heel that I was a big fan of. I love that he never yelled. No. Yeah, like I, I still to this day, I don't think I could ever picture Jake Roberts yelling. Mm-hmm. I I remember seeing him get worked up, but it's not really a yell when it happens. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah. So, uh, Bobby had one from the no. Sh- what? What? Bobby no. Bobby no. Oh, I see. I see. Bobby had one ah. from the chat room. Uh, Undertaker and Jake what? with the snake in the casket that made Warrior vomit scared my <laughs> ch- scarred my childhood. And Alex says, uh, d- 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 he's like uh, he doesn't know uh, Jake Jake Roberts moments unless the five dollar <laughs> wrestling's Jimmy Roberts counts. Uh, so yeah, no Jake Roberts knows, but my favorite is Jimmy Roberts moment and him DDT DDTing a hundred fans at an eye pay per view. Okay, that kind of counts for something, I guess. Why not? Yeah, yeah sure. Yes, it, it does. Jake Absolutely. Memory. Yeah. yeah. All right, with that, let us know your Jake Roberts memory, of course, uh, over at the Facebook group or uh, uh, for Wrestling Mayhem Show or uh, on Twitter at Mayhem Show. Uh, hashtag it remember when. Uh, and let us know. Or in comments if you're catching this in the clip here uh, on YouTube. Uh, so with that, hey, LB. Don't we have some yes, t-shirts? Sir. What? Don't we have some t-shirts? We do have some t-shirts. Mm. Can you believe it? Tell me about those t-shirts. They're amazing. Yes. They're goddamn amazing motherfucking t-shirts. They're beautiful. They say property of the wrestling mayhem show. They're absolutely fantastic. You can get them. You can get them. It, it, you, the listener. I'm talking to you. I'm not talking to Sorg. I'm talking to the listener. Sorg knows all this shit already. But listener... You're new, and you're going to be educated right now. You can get a Wrestling Mayhem Show t-shirt. That's right. The thing that you've always wanted more than anything else in your entire life. Secretly, I know your little secret heart, and I know you want a Wrestling Mayhem Show t-shirt, but how? I hear you clamoring. How? You're shaking your iPod. How? You're tearing out your earbuds. We'll put them back in (laughs) because you have to listen to me explain this. Uh, Point your browser, whether it be Firefox or Chrome or Opera or the third one or that crappy one, <laughs> point them to prowrestlingtees.com slash WMS and you can just shop to your little heart's desire. Because not only do we have Wrestling Mayhem Show t-shirts, uh, they also have t-shirts of all sorts of of fancy pants wrestlers if you like a wrestler and they're not in the wwe um they probably have a short shirt for them and you know what even if they are in the wwe